Hinge. Hi, Dr. Mary. We haven't talked in, in a while. So I know. We're probably full of all these ideas and trying to cram them and organize them. So <laughs> uh, we came we came up with a title and we will expand on it. And we will try to make it shorter than our others because we want to do many of these because we really want people to understand exactly where we're coming from. So the title of today's discussion is Much to Do About Everything. And this is something that Mary and I feel very, very strongly about because we're, we're advocates and supporters of less is more. Yeah, you know, Ginge, when you brought this up, I said, oh, this is such an important topic. If drill down, cut to the chase, what you shared with me, and then we're going to expound on this. Well, it's primarily that, you know, technology rules right now, all right, and and we, we are bombarded. I'll give you a simple example. I had a friend who came over from New Zealand, and their child was about six months old, and she wanted to go to San Francisco, and I said, well, we're going to have to go on BART. I don't know if that's really a good idea. And she says, well, why not? I said, well, it's noisy and there's just a lot of atmosphere and there's just a lot of things that are going on. Well, anyway, it ended up that I had to take the child and put it under all my clothes <laughs> and, and sing it lullabies because it was just like, day, you know, and, and I, it was overwhelmed. It was overwhelmed. So, you know, we don't realize I mean, just because maybe, you know, the baby was at an age where it couldn't communicate or whatever. Right. These things still are happening. Mm -hmm. They're still being perpetrated. They're still being, um, what do I want to say, influencing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so from that kind of grew the fact, well, whoa, you know, just exactly what is the impact of our environment? What's the impact of our words? Yes. What, what's the impact of our actions? Mm -hmm. And and what's the best way to convey common sense, simple and straightforward information mm -hmm. that the majority of people, what, whatever level of economics or, or ethnicity, is going to be able to adopt as theirs and use it. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing is to take something and make it yours. Because mm -hmm. if you don't have ownership, you're not going to put in the effort. Well, and the other thing is we listen to so many talking heads telling us what to think. And what, what, one thing, and it, it's come up for me so often, is we are losing our ability to think critically years ago and i say years ago because it was okay we didn't have all this bombarding us you could sit on a park bench okay because i lived in a city okay near um uh ellis island near new york okay you could sit on a park bench for hours and think hear your own thoughts and questions and I, when I was in high school, I was on the debate team, and I did it because I wasn't, I was, was not a very um, articulate speaker. I'm like, oh, God, this is scary. Me but too. I, how, were you? Oh, yeah. In fact, it got so bad, excuse me for interjecting, that the instructor allowed me to, whenever I had to give my, ex, ex, uh, what is it? Ex, ex, Extemporaneous. Yeah. I was allowed to have my back to the class. God. Yeah, it was, it was awful. Oh, <laughs> I really, I really and I get it. But you stuck with it. I, well, he was kind enough to give me a passing grade. So, <laughs> yeah. So but back you know, then, back then, we were encouraged. We were encouraged to think, to critically solve problems, and today. I notice it's such a difference. You are not even allowed to ask the questions. That's true. If you have a question in your mind, you're like, is it politically correct or not? And I think this is a real disservice, a deep disservice to our children, to our families, to, to us. 
And um, so I'm really glad, James, that we can start talking about some of this because I think right, it's a you know, I big mean, issue. Yeah, we, we have all the technical support and now we even have AI that's doing our thinking. I mean, my God, you can log on to AI and say, I would like an entire treatise on uh, dispute, uh, disputing the fact that uh, George Washington was our first president. Mm -hmm. And my mm -hmm. God, the information just comes kind of spewing out. And exactly. then it gives you, what bothers me, it gives you conclusions. Exactly. Exactly. And, and it's just like, I, I know uh, a lot of my friends, uh, I, you know, when their children get a little, you know, rambunctious or whatever, whatever, I, I always say, you know, let them, let them express it for a little while and then explain to them enough is enough is enough. This is it, you know, because yeah. pretty soon what's going to happen is that mom or dad are going to start acting the same way. And then I don't think you're going to like it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's just you know, giving them, giving them that confidence that freedom to realize that what they think is important and they're going to, and like we said before the only thing that's constant is change mm -hmm. and we don't mm -hmm. seem to have grasped that as a society the only thing that's constant is change mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we are such creatures of habit and now our habits are being designated to us oh no 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 you can't have that habit oh yes this is a good habit Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It reminds me, like we, we discussed before in kindergarten, you can do whatever you want in first grade, but now you have to do what we're telling you what to do. And it's just like, uh, hmm, that doesn't sound positive. Exactly. It doesn't sound right. But it, 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 it pervades every aspect of our lives. It, it really does. And that's why I've heard people say just literally shut off the tv shut off the sources of a lot of this um you know wh where you feel like you know just certain way of acting talking thinking is promulgated and well, if, yeah if we were to pick a subject matter mary this would be mine teach your children how to be kind and i think if we start there simple mm -hmm. straightforward Teach mm -hmm. your children to be kind. Yes. Yes. And that goes into, oh God, every every possible area of personality, of, of, of habits, or mm -hmm. whatever. But I think if we just, you know, keep it simple, mm -hmm. keep it short, keep it authentic, teach your children to be kind. And there are so many ways, there's so many lessons yes. that don't take a lot of time. You know, it's just simple things, you know, like letting you know letting a butterfly fly you know don't try to you know alter its course or right but just be be kind you realize that you know yes that these are living beings and yes and just you know um like a lot of times like in school well they don't like me well then be kind to them Mm -hmm. that doesn't make sense and they really won't like me no you just keep on being kind mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. say thank you you say please you stay out of the way and then I said in time in time if you're if you're consistent you'll be surprised they will they will be kind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we got we're teaching them so many things now that we're getting into this binary uh thing what what, what we're allowing in 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 classes who can say what uh, um, throwing out names like cult, uh, putting uh, religious uh, aspersions to things. Uh, we, we've gotten into what I feel is like name calling. Exactly. And if you don't fit into a certain mold, you feel discarded. You do not feel valued. Well, it's like the studies they did on feral children in, in, in India. Okay, even if they were to retrieve a feral child, that's a child that the village had put out to live with the wolves. Mm -hmm. And so even if they were to find the child or retrieve the child these six or eight months, they never feel they never feel that they belong. They're, they yeah. always feel that they're an outcast and, mm -hmm. and they either become a physical or, or an emotional mm -hmm. problem for the village. Mm -hmm. And so once well, you... Yeah, once you have that sense, like you're saying, abandonment. That's right. 
it's it's tough it's tough to get past that but mm -hmm. like we're like we said we're going to keep it short and simple we're starting our series uh regarding um uh, much to do about everything so we're just opening it up we're giving you um an idea of where we're going and and mm -hmm. also um it's very important to Mary and I that you get you get to know us that you you get to you know we want to earn your trust. We're willing to do what we have to do to earn your trust. And in today's society, that's a huge order. I know it is. It is. But I love what you said because to be kind takes takes fiber. It really does. Because, you know, for a lot of even children, I mean, they're not wired that way. It's like, it's all about me. It's all about me. But if you model it, if you model it long enough, I mean, they they will see, they will get. It's like, wow, you're treating me kindly, you know, and I <laughs> I didn't do anything to deserve that, but you're a human being. You're a living person. And that's and, what we said. Yeah, first and foremost, we're human right. beings who happen to be, who happen to be, who happen to do, who happen to know. But the first and foremost thing is that, you know, and, and I think what's been taking place lately overshadows the really wondrous exemplary uh, aspects and characteristics of being a human, of extending ourselves and feeling, um, I call it self-warmth. It's almost like, mm -hmm. you know, you like yourself to the point that you have a self-hug. Of course, you can't do it in public. People think you're a little crazy, but that's beside. <laughs> but uh, the bottom the bottom line is that you know, and and oh my God, laugh, have us learn to laugh at yourself. Oh, I mean, wow. what a beautiful gift you could give your children if they could learn, exactly. you know, that it's not all that serious. And the thing of it is, is that once you get over one serious thing, whoops, guess what? It's like one of those jack. Uh, boxes you know the the the, the yeah. jacket box pops up so and that happens to be life that happens to be life the, okay. the, and, and the changes are happening so fast and and just you know uh you um you know i i don't say this except with i say it with envy and i say it with sadness i'm glad i'm not a teenager right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 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 we've we've robbed them. We literally have robbed our children by our inaction and allowing others to do our thinking. I know to do our thinking exactly. And and earlier you brought up the issue like of the non-binary and all this. Okay, this is a huge issue right now. And, and it's a valid it's a valid issue. It's not something that should just be disregarded as well. That's just a phase. It's not a phase. No, there, no. there's there's a purpose and direction in this, and sometimes the the motive is suspect. Yes, and what what I'm seeing is, unless you fit the mold, your thoughts are not important. Your feelings are not important just as the child's thoughts and feelings are not important. And parents do have the right to understand and raise questions, but there's too much of this shutting down and it, it just really bothers me. It bothers me a lot. And yet you feel like you have nowhere to, there's no venue you can safely vent. It's like, now, wait a minute, this child is five years old. You know, I, and, and he's wearing and he's a boy and he's wearing children's clothes. Oh, my God. You know, and you know what? It, it, every child goes through their development. I, you know, I, I, I spent years studying child development and we were taught, OK, it is let them be, let them have their clothes and their makeup and whatever. And, you know, one week they're a fireman, one week they're a truck driver, one week they're a ballerina. It's okay. Stimulate their creativity. But what they're doing here is they're attaching permanence, permanence to very, this is a very transient um, developmental process. 
And I think that's the thing that really bothers me. Trust me, professionals like myself, we are not allowed to have a voice. We, who, but who are these people to say we, that we will not listen to what you have to say? But they won't. And, and they, they stifle this, this issue of censorship. To yeah, see, me this, is, this to me is a side. I'm not saying that, you know, all these other problems, okay, are not viable and valuable. Mm-hmm. It's, this, it's the, censor, the censorship, the, right. this, this manipulation that if you don't think the way that I do, uh, and, and, and in essence, I will crush who you are. Yes, exactly. I will crush your essence as a human being. And my hope is that as we talk about this, we're giving parents permission to raise questions, think, listen to others asking similar questions and find your voice. Find your own belief system. Like we were talking about earlier about uh, creativity and 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 um, thinking, critical thinking. If we don't start critically thinking again, we've lost. We've lost everything because it's part of the essence of a human being. Yeah, the one thing that we have as a human being, there are other animals too, but the one thing that we really have going for us is that we have this ability to adapt. That's right. But but along with that comes some pretty large responsibilities because That's exactly right. you have to you have to decide, you know, the level of adaptability or if you can do it or what you have to forfeit to, mm-hmm. to adapt or but the, the right. bottom thing is I just I you know I see it even in I, I was at a grocery store the other day. Okay, and this little boy had on clothes for boys and girls. Okay, and I figured, "Mm -hmm." and and I never would have thought this way, but I thought, well, maybe someone explained binary to him, or maybe you know they're already talking to him about his sexuality or whatever. And so he was he was doing his thing, and and uh, I looked at him and I said, "Wow, look how many people you are today." And the mother just like, you know, who's this broad? And he looked at me and he said, he said, yeah. I said, are you all having fun? And he said, yeah. And I says, keep up the good work. And the mother just kind of like, oh, okay. There was no judgment. No, there's no judgment. There was acknowledgement. There's no judgment. He was an individual, you know, like, wow, look at all the people you are today. That's right. That's exactly right. But again, no judgment, but think, reach in, you know, and think about a lot of these issues because they're being thrown at us. They are just being thrown at us they're at not such only a rapid thrown, fire pace. Yeah. Excuse me for interrupting. Uh, they're not only being, th- that's something I feel very strongly about. Uh, they're, they're being shoved down our throat. Yes. You know, if something's thrown at you and it and it's done at a reasonable pace, then it gives mm-hmm. you time to assess mm-hmm. and decide, okay, mm, I'll investigate that more or mm-hmm. I'll think about that or no, mm-hmm. that, that's just not my cup of tea. But but we're just we're being stuffed like a turkey. Mm-hmm. You know, we're just being stuffed and stuffed, and pretty soon there isn't any room for the stuffing. Yeah, exactly. The the the, the, cur- the you know, the turkey cooks. But mm-hmm. there's no mm-hmm. more room for stuffing. And and really, Mary, we we need room for stuffing. But it yeah. has to be, it has to be viable stuffing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It not has to be, junk, not agenda. No, it has to be an original recipe. Okay, not 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 something out of a box. And that's what we're doing. we you know that song. I don't know who wrote it. I'm not very good musically inclined in any sense of the word. But it's that song about tiny boxes, ticky tacky all in a row. Mm-hmm. And I just visited one of my friends in a very, very nice uh, establishment gated area. And it was a little difficult to get there because, you know, when they make these complexes, there's kind of a maze to get there because they're still putting in access to the freeway and stuff like that. I did fine with that. I did fine with that. I got into the complex. I couldn't find her house. I had to call her because they all looked the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I thought 
oh, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I can't. But there are people that they find the security in it and whatever, and, and you have to appreciate that. But see, it it immediately ticked off my sense of individuality, mm -hmm. which, you know, I have to be careful because that makes me judgmental. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There's, there's a fine line, but I think, you know, we're at a point now, pick one and go with it. Pick mm -hmm. one and go with it. And like we said, I think the one that we, we really want to go with is teaching children kindness. That covers yeah. so many things. And the fact that, you know, it's not a bad thing to shut off the television. It's not a bad thing not to play all the video games. These are not bad things. If they're going to enhance you, they're going to improve who you are. That's mm -hmm. a plus. But if they're going to take away, if they're going to lay groundwork in making you an addict, that's not a good thing. So, okay, this is our first of many, and and we're here to stay, and as as long as people will listen to us, um, Mary Mary was very happy that uh, we had one of the highest uh, ratings on uh, a couple of our podcasts, mm -hmm. and the one and the one thing that we're really pleased about is that people really can see how authentic and genuine and the respect that Mary and I have for each other and our intense intense devotion to making a difference. Thank you um, so much, Ging. Oh, thank and you, Mary. And I, this is exciting because we, you know, our lives have been such that we haven't been able to get together. And 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 Mary's very organized. And like when I call her, it's almost like you have three three of my minutes. And I, you know, I feel like I, I got to make those three minutes good because it's, oh, nope, I'm scheduled for something else. Bye bye. So <laughs> I look forward to the podcast for a lot of reasons. One of them being uh, connecting with Mary. It's all good. Thank you so much, Ginge. All right. Okay. Let's we'll make be, it a great day. We'll be talking at you and uh, we'll be talking with you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.